अपने दर्शकों को अब हम ले चलते हैं सीधे श्रीलंका की तरफ श्रीलंका में स्थिति लगातार बहुत तेजी से खराब हो रही है पिछले तीस दिनों से वहां पे जिस तरह से आंदोलन चल रहा था राजपक्षे के खिलाफ वहां के प्रेसिडेंट के खिलाफ वहां की सरकार के खिलाफ उस प्रदर्शन पर जो खबरें आई हैं जिस तरह की रिपोर्ट्स हैं उससे साफ होता है कि राजपक्षे ने जो इस्तीफा देने के बाद जिस तरह से अपने कैडर्स को आह्वान किया प्रोटेस्ट साइट पे जाने का और वहाँ पे जो भिड़ंत हुई हमारे सामने इन तमाम मुद्दों पर हम बात करेंगे डॉक्टर शिवा से जो श्रीलंका में मौजूद हैं वह मानव अधिकार कार्यकर्ता हैं ह्यूमन राइट एक्टिविस्ट हैं बहुत लंबे समय से वहाँ पर जो ह्यूमन राइट्स के लिए काम कर रहे हैं एजुकेशन के लिए काम कर रहे हैं बेसिक एम्यूनिटीज के लिए लंबा संघर्ष जो श्रीलंका में चल रहा है उसका बहुत जाना माना चेहरा डॉक्टर शिवा हमारे साथ जुड़ रहे हैं वेलकम टू न्यूज क्लिक डॉक्टर शिवा आई जस्ट वांट टू नो द वे द थिंग्स आर टर्निंग एंड सो फार एट पीपल हैव लॉस देयर लाइफ इन श्रीलंका द वे थिंग्स हैव टर्न वॉयेंट येस्टरडे आफ्टर थर्टी डे ऑफ प्रोटेस्ट so how you see what is the ground reality right now when we are talking to you yes uh, thank you very much for the news line and um, the basic uh, i'm starting from the basic needs like the um, food stuff and the gas cooking gas then the fuel uh, these are the basic things uh, for example food stuffs are uh, most of the food including rice flour and dal everything the prices are increased uh, some places 100% or some places even 200% um so for example a uh, few months ago the rice uh, kilogram of rice was 125 but now it is uh, 260 280 maybe some places 300 rupees sri lankan rupees so the people are facing very difficulties to get their food uh, items because of no jobs the shops are closed restaurants are closed a number of companies are closed so the people lost their jobs so that is in that way then the gas cooking gas is the major issue the people particularly women are going to the street and they are fighting for the cooking gas because in sri lanka uh, around 35 to 40 percent of the population are living in the rural villages they can find at least uh, some firewood in the village or uh, in in the, in the plantations but most of the middle class and upper class people who are living in the urban cities or, or suburbs they are depend on the gas uh, cooking gas so now from the two days ago or yesterday there is no gas uh, in sri lanka no gas uh, providers or distribution it totally stopped so the people are now hungry they are fighting for their gas because they the women are the most vulnerable uh, to cook food to give the family then the electricity the main thing is electricity even now we don't have electricity yeah Today right now we, we are talking to... and uh, right now we are talking and you told us that there is no electricity so how long are the electricity cut you are facing uh, that, that 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 is up uh, from 3 hours to 5 hours or 7 hours so it is difficult to predict or say uh, that what is going on what is going to happen next uh, next minutes because there is no kind of a, a common sense or common ground to say because nobody is telling that how many hours they are going to cut the electricity so yeah. the, so just the i wanted to know. know just i wanted to know from you that uh, way the things have turned yesterday because from last 30 days people are protesting on the street of sri lanka in different part of the cities the way it happened uh, yesterday in colombo so how the uh, things are and uh, how you uh, see why it uh, went so violent and what are the repercussions you are uh, expecting or you are uh, uh, looking into it uh, the, the thing is uh, you all know that the, the the demonstration the demonstration that mean the peaceful democratic demonstrations are organized by initially youths then uh, it followed by the um, uh, social media uh, producers then the social media followers so that went up to 30 days that mean a month uh, like a uh, democratic peaceful uh, de- um, uh, demand with a peaceful demand so that uh, that is started in the colombo near the beach that place called golfes after that 
that expanded to the other cities uh, in the country like Kendi or um, northeast or the south part, go like that. So everywhere, the people themselves, they came to the street and they start or they support this peaceful uh, demonstration. So that the, we couldn't find any 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 kind of a violent during these 30 days. Maybe there may be one or two small things, uh, but it's not a major problem. But yesterday, that means 9th of May, so the our uh, Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Mahinda Rajapaksa announced Rajapaksa. that... Uh, Rajapaksa. Mahinda Rajapaksa. He announced... Um, uh, is moving or removing from his position as a prime minister. So, but he, he was telling that about two, three or four or five days ago, slowly. Um, then after that, he organized a big meeting uh, in um, his place. That means uh, it's a government residence called uh, Temple Terrace. Uh, that is in Colombo 3, he organized. So thousands of his followers, or maybe we call uh, local uh, Panjait leaders, so local Pradesh Sabha leaders, then the provincial uh, Sabha leaders, they, uh, with their uh, supporters, they uh, came to the Colombo. They, they were traveling from uh, overall other parts of uh, Sri Lanka. They were provided buses. Um, ultimately, they find some liquor bottles and many, many things in the buses. They were transported to Colombo. Then they participated in the meeting. So while up to that place, this uh, demonstration, the peaceful demonstration was okay. They are going on there in the same way. But after this meeting over, suddenly these uh, supporters of Mahinda Rajapakta or the Podujana uh, Peramuna party, people came out. There may be around 1,000 people. They came out. They started to fight or they started to loot. They started to attack the nonviolent um, uh, demonstrators. Mm. Yeah, protesters. So, this, there are two main places this protest work going on. One is Golfes, the second one is um, near the temple terrace, that means in front of the prime minister's place. So uh, the the um, there are around one and a half kilometer or two kilometers different uh, between the, those two places. The people came out. The people mean the thugs. They come out, came out mobs, and they started to attack the peaceful um, uh, protesters. So here we should uh, we should um, see the clash. Mean the two parties did not fight. The demonstrators, the democratic demonstrators, they followed non-violent way while they are attacking. They did not attack, re-attack. So that is the main point we should bring to the public and the world. Um, until 12 o'clock, until 12 o'clock, they did not um, uh, go against them. They followed non-violent way. They were sitting there. But the people who came, the thugs or mobs, they started to attack, beat, um, uh, loot. Do you feel that things. this was a pre? Do you feel that this was a pre-designed? ये पहले से सोचा हुआ था राजपक्षे ने अपनी मीटिंग में इस तरह का कोई डिजाइन किया था. It was designed at the राजपक्षे meeting to go behind the peaceful demonstrators like this. Do you feel that this was a pre-designed thing? Yeah, yeah. So uh, um, when we see the media's, uh, according to the media's information. Uh, we can see that while the Prime Minister was uh, addressing to their followers, so he was just anger. And when he concluded his speech, he told that I am I don't um, obey anybody. I can do this country. I can run this country. So uh, like that, a little bit anger. That that is one thing. The second thing is. The other ministers who spoke uh, in the in the who addressed in that meeting also they told so we will uh, we will uh, teach a lesson like that to the demonstrators. Uh, so after this, 
the people got angry and then came out. Finally, they, they were found even most of these uh, mobs have the same kind of a knife, the big knife, that is a kind of a big knife, um, the long knife, and also the sticks, iron sticks as well as um, wood sticks. So Lohe ke dande or lakadi ke dande? Or chaku the unke paas? Yeah. Yeah. So these are kind of the same. That means this is pre-planned. This was bought from uh, maybe one place or two places or three places. So th that is the evidence we can say that this is pre-planned. What you feel, what will be the political? Because finally there has to be some political alternative to the Rajpakshi, yeah. to the Gotabai. Yeah. Yes, that is a very uh, important question. So, but I, I have to say, while or although there is no any political affiliation in the in the demonstration, but the people who are joining or who are participating, they have a political affiliation. So, the majority of the uh, university students, they, they are the people who are running this uh, demonstration. They have a political affiliation, like they are joined. They are part of the um, uh, leftist uh, movements like uh, the People's uh, Liberation Front that we call JVP or the Socialist um, uh, uh, Front, like those parties. Also, some small part of other opposition parties, Then, uh, but most of the people are neutral people. Then also the later part, many trade unions joined. There are around, they told, small and larger, 3,000, up to 3,000 trade union joined with that. The plantation workers, then the government uh, workers, the state uh, departments, and the water board, electricity board, every um, trade unions, uh, they joined with this. So now it become a kind of a people's uh, struggle. Um, so now the, the problem is, what is the political uh, solution or po political ideology? So that question was raised in Sri Lanka also. Among the protesters, among the people, everybody is asking, what are we going to do the next? So what is the political ideology behind and what are we going to propose? So now the protesters say, the, all the people are saying, the first demand is the Gota Kobo. Got, I mean, uh, got by Rajabaksa, who is the president, the brother of the main Rajabaksa. Uh, president should go home. That is the first uh, demand. Prime Minister and Cabinet should go home. Then the third, 225 parliamentary. That means parliament system uh, should be held or they should go. They should then, resign. Uh, Sabko uh, dena resign. Yeah. All, all these people should resign. Then, they are, they are, they are suggestion is this suggestion not only came uh, through these um, uh, protesters but also bar association of Sri Lanka that is play, playing very important role. All the lawyers are with the protesters. Uh, they are supporting in this cause. Then bar association. Then the other professional association like engineers association, doctors association. Then the civil society, the trade unions, uh, joint trade union uh, center. All these people are suggesting that or uh, interior kind of interior uh, government or interior administration Ante, to be set up. Antirim Sarkar or Antirim Prashashan. Yeah, yeah, should be set up uh, for a maximum 15 months. Uh, within that, then we should go for a new constitution, the new system, uh, new process. So, so that is the um, uh, discussion is going on. But there is a other difficulty is constitutionally how we can bring a new uh, interim uh, committee or interim uh, governance is the problem. Because according to the constitution of Sri Lanka, the, if you want to remove the president of Sri Lanka, the president himself should remove. That means he resign. He should resign. Otherwise, after uh, two and a half years, uh, the parliament should bring a motion. Uh, then that should go to the parliament. It should be placed to the parliament. It should take to the discussion. That is a long process. 
uh, thanks a lot for uh, taking time in uh, this difficult time and uh, with the news click thanks a lot we will be in touch with you and hopefully uh, the kind of uh, movement and protest which is going on uh, we uh, wish uh, that there should be some good should come out to sri lanka because uh, uh, we know that sri lanka is passing through very difficult time i think that uh, the kind of uh, violence sri lanka has seen before but the kind of economic crisis that sri lanka is passing through is unprecedented so uh, thanks a lot for uh, talking to news click bahut bahut shukriya news click se baat karne ke liye aapka shukriya thank you